Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today we're over here in Hayward. I'm at Aquarium Collection. I'm over here about to go here for the first time. My dog is a little upset because she got to stay in the car, but I'm going up in here for the first time. They called me and said they have a small bamboo shark for me, so I'm about to go find out. If I can record it, I'll do so. If not, you'll see me afterwards. See you in a minute. Hey, what's going on with you guys? So um, for this portion of the video, I will be doing a talk over. So when I was in the store, they had their ambient music playing and um, we don't want to deal with any copyright infringement. So with that being said, let's uh, do our best to try to mimic what was being said. So first and foremost, I noticed that they have this beautiful display tank right here with multiple angels. Um, I've never seen the big one that just passed by um and that's what i'm referring to right here so you can't have multiple angels in one single tank um i was under impression that you only could have one so moving around to the side over here the the one thing i liked about this location is that they had the price the correct prices with the correct names on the tank a lot of times you'll go to these pet stores and they will not have the names of the fish. And if they do, they don't have the prices on there. So I usually feel like they're just making up prices. But here they have everything. You see that mocha storm clown right there? Beautiful mocha storm clown. They have the copper band butterfly right there. Um, down below they have some other butterfly fish that I have never seen. They have the purple tang right there. I think he was like $200. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. And if you notice, their tanks are very clear. I don't have any complaints at all with the health of these fish. Oh, right there, that's a box fish right there. That one right there, that is a box fish. It's, called a, it's a male box fish, matter of fact. Um, that's I've never seen that fish before either. I don't know what kind of angel that is but he looks really nice as well. But yeah, so there's another angelfish. Damsels, um, I don't know what kind of fish it is with the stripes on it. But yeah, they have a bunch of different fish in here. Really dope location. I highly recommend, that was another beautiful fish right there. Another butterfly fish. But I highly recommend you guys come on by here and uh, take a look at them. If you're not local, it's worth swinging by. Look at that blue-faced angelfish. Uh, immaculate, beautiful, nothing wrong with it. And I think what I think their setup's pretty dope. They have wooden stands holding all of their tanks. Look at those beautiful fish right there with the yellow tops, with the yellow on top of them. Foul fish, dory right there. We definitely got to get a hippo tank sometime in the future. My girl keeps on reminding me that we need to get a um, get a hippo tank. So, bunch of angel fish, another another hippo tank. We got some other kind of tanks right there. I think that's a blue jeans tank. Or as a matter of fact, that's a Nassau tank right there. I don't know what that other fish was. We got a marine betta up here. We got a very, very tiny box fish right there. My girl was really falling in love with that guy. He's only 35 bucks, very, very affordable. That's a beautiful black angel fish. Not sure what kind that is. So I kind of was a harlequin tusk. I do love my harlequins, but they I've had I've had bad luck with them, guys. I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had two and um they just didn't make it stressed out or whatever the case may be, but they didn't make it. Um so I don't think I'll be buying another harlequin tusk. It seems like my tank is very aggressive for them, so I won't do that again. Not I won't make that mistake.
Look at those angelfish. Beautiful, beautiful. I thought that was a grouper. It looks just like a grouper, but it's actually a hawkfish. I had to ask one of the associates what that was because I've never seen a hawkfish that big. This guy had to have been about five to six inches, um, but he's still a very nice looking specimen, even though he is not a grouper, but he has the whole look of one. But if you notice, their tanks are crystal clear. Their fish all look healthy. That's another trigger fish. Now, I've never seen a trigger fish that looked like that before. Yeah, I keep going back to this hawkfish because I, I was amazed by it. Because again, I really thought it was a grouper. He reminds me so much of my coral grouper I had. The one I had to take back to the store. That is another little um, puffer. That is a very large triggerfish right there. Golden. I don't know. I don't. And then my girl said this is the biggest. This this is the biggest angel angelfish she's ever seen. This is another blue face angelfish. It's actually freaking huge. And then there's another boxfish. So they had quite a wide array of fish that I have never seen. So a lot of first time seeing of some of these fish, even those guys right there, beautiful in color. I wish I had a place to put them, but I don't think they'll last inside my tank either. All right, so that's it guys. I just wanted to um, do a little small little tour for you guys. It's quite windy out here at this point. So, you know, um, if you wanna see more, you should definitely come on by here. So this place again is called Aquatic Collection. It's right on Harry, California. They have a bunch of fish, tanks clean. They have a lot of variety for you guys. So uh, I made sure that I left something to the imagination so you can come on by and check it out yourself. We have this shark, guys. Look at this beauty. I can't really see. Oh, let's look at, look at it from the top. Look at this beauty right here, guys. I told you I had some surprises for you up my sleeve. Just wait until we get this guy home. So um, we have some more. Hold on. So we have some more additions that we're gonna add to this aquarium. But uh, that's all I wanted to get from here. You know, this guy was a hundred bucks. Well worth it. Hopefully he does well. He's a little on the skinny side. They just got him this morning. So um, we'll see what we can do with him. And uh, yeah, see you at the house, guys. So what we're going to do is to set him right here. Just as, as for peace of mind, I'm going to drop in this little air bubbler just like that and then I know y'all hungry I will feed y'all before I get them in here so then a quick just like that Pardon. and so what are we looking at we looking at a little drip of I think that's good. It's it's kind of fast, but there's quite a bit of water in here, and we want to double this. And uh, if it start going too fast, then I'll slow it down. But I think this is good. From what the uh, the owner of the store told me, they keep their water at one point zero two five. 
I keep my tank at one, matter of fact, my tanks at 1.025 as well. So the salinity level is the same. So we're just wanting to make sure that the temperature is the same and any, any other conditions of this tank will match what's going to be inside of this bucket. So that's why we want to double the water volume and uh, we'll get the guy in there. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this guy is done acclimating. Look at how much water we have in here now. It's been over an hour. So we took our time with this acclimation process. The water temperature is exactly the same. This thing has double, if not triple, in water volume. Oh my God, Carter. My son is down there popping. <laughs> <laughs> with his little popcorn. <laughs> what they call that? What they call that right there, babe? I, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, he's, he's over there having a ball with that. I know we all had that. I had that when I was a kid. Most kids, they usually have that. He loves that. Oh, with the hickey cups. We got the hiccups. <laughs> 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 oh. All right. You want to um, give them some milk real quick yeah. first to help Be right back. All right. Set. All right. So let's get this guy out. Carter's happy with his water. <laughs> Helping those hiccups. And now we're going to add in this cash shark. So nice. So, so nice. He's so pretty. All oh, those eyes. Mm hmm. Can I you, really can like you move the, the bucket? Okay, let me move this bucket out the way so we can get him. Oh, there go my bubbler. Mm. Oh, no. Don't go over there. So he's a little on the skinny side. Um, they just got him in this morning. So uh, we're gonna have to certainly fatten him up. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if he'll eat now, but you know what? Let me go ahead and try. I'll see if I can get him to eat.
No. No. I didn't really expect him to eat, but I wanted to at least give him a shot just in case he was really hungry and wanted to eat something. Try one more again. No. Paso mm. wants some of that. Of course. Oh, both of them. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. Okay, Picasso. There's no heat between the the eels and our and our new little shark. So we'll keep a real close eye on this guy and uh, and see how he does. Like I said, he's very skinny. It's the only one they had. You know, so uh, I keep you guys tuned in on all the progress. And as you see, they love this squid. Titus is not playing. Let me go ahead and uh, and get Picasso one because he just got his snatched. Mm -hmm. There you go. I got another piece for you, Picasso. Mm -hmm. There you nope. go. No shaking your head, no. You don't want it. I'm sure. You don't you, you, you want it now, huh? You mad because you lost the other one? There you go. Oh. No? Oh, when I take it out of the water, you want it. Okay, okay. I see, I see your game. Well, let me just go ahead and just put some little pieces in there for you guys. Right. Maybe he feels comfortable near them because they kind of have the same like body form. trying to go underneath so bad. Gotta find you a different area, but also the light stresses a lot more. <laughs> Alright well we gonna we don't wanna stress this guy out too much. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I hope you learned something. Check out Aquatic Collection. It's in Hayward, California. It's off Winton, uh, 1212 Winton Um So check them out if you're local. If you're not local and you come on by, pass through, stop in there. Check those guys out. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your continuous support. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page, The Fish Corner, and in the description down below. Again, as always, I'm going to provide my link tree and that link tree to find my Teespring account. And if you want to purchase some cool merch, help yourself. It is always appreciated, never expected. I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.